Okay, we're here at the April 21st, 2001 Anti-FTAA March. And as you can hear in the background, we're, we're testing, testing, getting ready. And um, we're gonna let you know a little bit more about what this is all about. And we're gonna go down Canal Street to the, w, uh, the World Trade uh, oh, okay. Center. About nine groups have representatives to this coalition to organize this event. For those of you that don't know, the FTAA stands for the Free Trade Area of the Americas. For those who don't know what the FTAA is by now, you should, you should definitely look into it. Don't believe anything we say if you're skeptical. Look at what they say. They're negotiating in secret. Why do they negotiate in secret? Because information does not serve their purpose. It serves our purpose. Get informed. You'll be shocked. Today, millions of workers across the Americas, in various organizations, from the women's movement, from the environmental movement, from the labor movement, from indigenous peoples, anti-racism, that is, all the expressions of the working class movement have come out to say no to the FTAA. They are afraid of black people, white people, Latino people, Vietnamese people joining together. It is time for us to put the foolishness aside, join hands to stand up for our rights. They can try to stop us, but our movement's only growing. Oh, okay. Oh, las personas que entiendan algo de español. I would like to talk in English, but my English is so limited. But eh, lo más importante es que estoy acá para apoyar a los compañeros y para dejar de manifiesto el hecho de que estoy totalmente en contra de la intervención militar por parte de los Estados Unidos en Colombia y en Latinoamérica. Day by day we lose more freedoms to governments and corporations. When we start taking control of our own lives, our businesses profits more important than our well-being. Shouldn't our air be clean enough to breathe and our water clean enough to drink? The FTAA wants to put you at the whims of some corporation was based thousands of miles away. It has its hands on the very things that keep us alive and healthy. These necessities of life are rapidly becoming, or they have become, commodities to be gambled in the open market and the stock exchange. No! It is frightening to think that the control of these essential resources are ever more in the hands of large transnational corporations whose number one and sole priority is profit. We demand respect. What do we demand? Respect. We will take what we want, we will take what we need, and we stand up for our rights. So we're going to march down Canal Street to the World Trade Center at the very end of Canal in the corner of Poydras.
watch out for this dude here. <laughs> So what's going to take for you to stand up to them? When will we say enough is enough? Will it be when they give us cancers? Too late for that. Will it be when children are prescribed Ritalin and antidepressants to drug them into compliance? Too late for that. Will it be when they start another great extinction? Too late for that. Will it be when the police gun down the innocent in their own neighborhoods? It's far too late for that one. So what are we waiting for? Why are we standing around talking and not doing anything? I want to have a real voice in the quality and standard of living in my community. I wish to take the responsibility of working with my neighbors here in the city of New Orleans and around the world to create a community in which the wealth is distributed fairly, in which all rich and poor have access to affordable energy, clean air and water, education, medical care, and safe, clean food. People, listen to what I am saying to you. This uh, treaty is being uh, based on NAFTA, the North American Free Trade Agreement. And uh, it was revealing what NAFTA was because it wasn't about free trade and it wasn't an agreement. It was a protector's rights agreement. It was, a, it was a protection agreement for investors. It wasn't about free trade and it wasn't an agreement because when polled, the American people, the Canadian people, and the Mexican people all, vote, all were said that they were against it, those who had an opinion. So it wasn't a, a, a free trade agreement. The only truth to it was it was about North America. This to try to expand to the Western Hemisphere. I'm really against to the intervention of army in my country because we are we are fighting against the imperialism, you know. And I don't want more army people in my country killing farmers killing innocent people. This anti-globalization movement is growing in strength and in numbers. But if we here in the United States are going to go from the defensive to the offensive, we need organizations that build solidarity, that build working class solidarity, not create obstacles. For as long as there has been an economic elite anywhere in the world, there has been an attempt to divide the common people, to keep them distracted and arguing amongst themselves. And I want to say, this the most important thing, the most inspiring thing to me, is that in the face of globalization, we're coming together, all different kinds of people with all different kinds of agendas. And it's only in our diversity through our differences and coming together using all of our different perspectives that so we're going to take the streets, we're going to take our communities back, we're going to have some say-so in our standard of living, and uh, I want to do that today. I want to hit the streets. <laughs> yeah. Thanks a lot, y'all. Go away! 
eradication and commodification of virtually every aspect of our lives. The, the Poison Globe Award, which has been presented by the Green Movement here in New Orleans for the past 10 years. For the last nine years, the same company has received it every year. That's a company called Freeport McMoran, which richly deserved it because they've been at the forefront of globalization. As you may or may not know, they run the, the, the largest gold mine, the third largest copper mine in the world, in a country called West Papua, which has been exploited and subjected to ecocide and genocide for decades uh, through, through a partnership mainly through the, the Suharto dictatorship and now its successors and the Freeport McMoran Corporation which is headquartered in New Orleans. This gives us a wonderful opportunity to attack globalization and global exploitation right at its heart which is here in New Orleans in this case. But, but this year we have a special case since the FTAA is uh, moving beyond the activities of any individual corporation. So I'm here to accept this award. For some reason, the, uh, the sponsors of this uh, organization uh, have not shown up to join us today. So I'm going to accept it on their behalf. The award says 2001 winner of the Poison Globe Award, FTAA, and also Bush, war and the gang. Without the none of this would have been possible. On behalf of the FTAA, I want to thank all the little people who make this sort of thing possible. All the people who every day go to work, do what they're told, keep the system going. All the people who go to the polls and the elections, all those little people who vote for the Democrats and the Republicans. All those little people who shop, who, who are born to shop, who are good consumers, who walk through the streets, who don't stop here, who don't protest, who don't object, 
who are good, good Americans, sometimes they're called good Germans, whatever nationality they may be, they do their part in poisoning the globe. So on behalf of the FTAA, I want to thank them, and I want to know how much the FTAA people hate your guts, you people who are here, and hope that there are going to be very few people like you in the future. So please don't tell anybody else about this. Thanks. We're ready to attack. You think you got our power, but we're here to take it back. You better watch your back. We're ready to attack. You think you got our power, but we're here to take it back. You better watch your back. We're ready to attack. You think you got our power, but we're here to take it back. You better watch your back. We're ready to attack. You think you got our power, but we're here to take it back. You Don't let them sell your kids' future. Free trade is slave trade! 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 We say fair trade! They say free trade! We say fair trade! They say free trade! We say fair trade! They say free trade! We say fair trade! are being bought and sold. Right now, as I speak, there are people meeting delegates from the entire Western Hemisphere discussing our lives, discussing our future, the quality of living and the standard of living that we will see in days to come. We want people power. What do we want? People power. What do we want? People power. When do we want it? Now. When do we want it? Now. We know that if we don't stand up for ourselves now, there won't be anything to stand up for later. Well, life isn't over yet, so stop waiting to die. Energy has robbed us. It's armed robbery and, armed robbery and it's extortion. It is white-collar crime. We must stand up for our rights. We must stand up for the elderly. We must stand up for the children. Here in New Orleans, we have recently experienced the consequences of that. The spiked energy bills. Some people are facing shutoffs on Monday, as Antoinette said. Energy was not the beginning, and it's not the end. We've got a lot more stuff on the chopping block. We got privatization of the sewerage and water board that's already being discussed. I'm totally against to the army of American intervention in Colombia and in other countries. I want to thank everybody for showing up today. Uh, I guess we represent those who don't believe that, uh, I read a poll one time that 70% uh, of the population believes that the government's run by special interest groups, not the people. I guess we're part of that 70%. We don't believe that we have access to decision-making power that affects our lives. And uh, we decided that uh, we had to find another way. We had to create alternative institutions and other ways to access the media. Because uh, they don't cover our issues unless we met, meet in mass. The bananas here, you go and you buy the bananas very cheap. Why? Because the farmers of the bananas, they are from the poor countries. But go to buy a orange juice. This is expensive. Why? because the orange came from Florida. The orange came from California. So we don't, we don't want to do that more. The workers united shall never be defeated. Los sombreros unidos jamás serán vencidos. Who's 
who's going to benefit? Not most people. Only a percent of it. Not That's not equal. Who's going to benefit? Not most people. Only a percent of it. That's not equal. <laughs> the crowd is taking over. They're just like wild. They're just like going. Stand outside. Stand outside. Just uh, the revolution finally has paid off. The anarchists have won. We flagged a new, they're flying a new flag here at the World Trade Center because we won. That's right. It's all over. They've decided to cancel the FTAA. We won, and that's, that's the power of the people. That's how easy it can be. America, just get out there and uh, say no, and you know, they'll change the policy, and, and everything's fine now. So you can go back to, uh, Go, go back to your TV and, uh, you know, don't press mute. Watch it all. See what else unfolds. Thank <laughs> you.